been trying to just tighten the budget a little bit and make sure we're not overspending. The consumer price index rose 8.5 percent in July. While gasoline prices are going down, grocery prices are continuing to be a problem for many Granite Staters. More generic brands. Uh, we buy a little less at a time, I'm trying to make sure things don't spoil or anything like that. Some finding other ways to cut costs for themselves and others. I give to consignment shops, but it's because I'm trying to download, so I'm not going to go get more stuff. And it helps others as well. We've definitely seen an uptick in uh, foot traffic. Ryan Reynolds and his wife Ashley own Consignment Gallery on South River Road in Bedford. He says they've been seeing more customers recently who are dealing with the effects of inflation and supply chain shortages. So a lot of people changing their shopping habits um, and a lot of folks that wouldn't necessarily have considered shopping secondhand uh, coming into the store. And they're buying everything from furniture to dishware. If you're willing to have a little bit of, a, of patience and maybe um, willing to make a little bit of a treasure hunt out of it, uh, you, can, you, you never know what you're going to find. And thrift stores and consignment shops can also be helpful when it comes to back to school shopping. The National Retail Federation says families with students in elementary to high school are expected to spend $864 this year on school supplies. That's $15 more than this time last year. I'm live in Bedford, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.